180, 188 to 190. Believe it or not, like for most people that are listening to this, that's on the light side. Yeah. No, absolutely. The, yeah. I know it is. But the thing is, I'm so lean and I'm 180 and I'm walking around below 6% body Who fat. Who do you, oh wow. Who do you use to cut to for weight cut? Um, for the last couple of fights, man, I've been working with uh, Clint. Clint Wittenberg up at the PI oh, the and UFC Trifecta. Yeah, and Trifecta. I like Clint a lot. Yeah, and Clint, man, what Clint's is Trifecta? a man. Trifecta food system. Trifecta. They essentially, you know, the meal delivery, meal prep stuff. Oh, okay. And they, they do a phenomenal job. Phenomenal. And Clint, the reason I chose to go with him is I've always did it by myself. I like to cook. I, I cook for myself. I always, you know, when all those fights, earlier fights in the UFC, every one of my fights, I was in charge of my own diet. I cook for myself. I do this because I've done it so many years in wrestling all the wrong way. Mm. I can look at myself. I can wake up in the morning, look at myself in the mirror and tell how much I weigh and I'll be right on just because I'm so used to my body. So I know what I can or I can't eat, what, what can hold food, what can hold water. And it's just, it's a discipline thing for me as well. And so I, so I decided, you know what? I'm getting higher up now. One thing that I don't understand is that I haven't done the research is, is what foods to eat before a certain practice at certain times to fuel mm. me the best, to make me help, help me feel the best. Because I'm getting older and, and things aren't the same they, the way they How used to be. Now? I'm 31 and I'm going to be 32 in May. And I'm like, man, I just what, don't what feel What differences like, have you noticed? A, a lot of difference. Yeah. Like at 24, I just fucking wake up at 6 a.m. and I can go for a freaking five mile run like that with nothing. Now I can't do that anymore. Do you think that is age or do you think that is miles? Like all it, the hard it's, training? It's a, com it's a combination. Because 31, you're in your athletic prime. Yeah, it's a combination of both. Because in wrestling years, I, I got to be in the late 40s. Wrestling I mean, years, wrestling right, years, right. I'm uh, late for it. I mean, back is, is a shot. My, you know, my shoulders are shot. My knee, my knees. Oh, my God, my knees. I've had five knee surgeries. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I saw you limping. Did you have one recently? I just had surgery. Actually, um, I had surgery on Tuesday. Oh, that's um, a hernia, last Tuesday, right? I had a double hernia. Jesus. Yes. So did you fight with a double hernia? Uh, I tore it before, like five weeks before the fight. and um, But I don't know if it was completely off. You had a hernia but, and a broken foot for yeah, that fight? That yeah. is fucking crazy. The funny thing is, and, and Ali makes fun of me about this, my manager, is uh, like all fight week, like if you saw me, you would think this guy was like a zombie. Like I I'm, I limp around, I freaking lycan patches on me, and, and I'm in a boot or, or sleeve. And, and all I do all day is I go do the media rounds or whatever I need to do training come back and i'm just in my room either game ready on me or or something on me but when i walk through that door to fight the nigerian nightmare wakes up i flip the switch and a lot of people would would if they go back and look at videos of when i walk into the cage i st step right before the cage i pray say my prayer for protection and when i walk in i just freaking don't if it's like i flip that switch do you have a, a prayer that you say every time yeah you have the exact same thing? Yeah. What do you say? Similar along those lines. I just, I basically just a prayer for protection. Prayer for me to be able to display the best of my abilities. It's never, I, because I, I'm not selfish. It's not, I'm not getting in that prayer, please let me win. No, it, it's please protect me in here so I can go back to my family safe and sound and protect my opponent as well and give me the strength to be able to display the best of my abilities and that's it and once i freaking walk through that door i'm the freaking nigerian nightmare i just that's you it. feel like a different person when i you am walk onto the cage? i am and you see it in my face i'm i'm good and dandy but when i walk in it goes away i i just i transform into that person yeah i think a lot of people would be surprised at how friendly and easygoing you are outside people can't tell and that's the thing now is there's really i haven't i don't i don't there's no change in me i'm still the same freaking guy i since i, I haven't done anything since the fight nothing people are like asking me have you gone out and partied in this and that with the bell <laughs> no nah, i haven't done shit <laughs> you sleep with it I, I, no my daughter i brought it for my daughter my Aww. daughter did but i didn't i didn't do anything i just sit on the couch watch tv go back maybe go to the uh the shop that i, I like to take my daughter to get uh get french toast she loves this one place so i take her there come back that's it. Or maybe take her to a date night. The only difference is now a lot of the people are starting to recognize me more. So, like, I'm walking out of the movies. People will stop me. Hey, can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? Yeah, of course. You know, but 
nothing changed. I'm the same freaking guy. I haven't got a chance to do anything. I had surgery last Tuesday. I've been in bed for weeks, so I haven't done anything. But I don't think anything is going to change. I'm the same guy. Well, you, know? you, you sound like you have the perfect attitude. Like the idea that you're having, making a prayer to just do your best and not be hurt and not have your opponent hurt and protect you and your opponent. That's, that is a beautiful attitude. And the fact that the way you're approaching this, I mean, you're just, you're just here to compete and to do your very best. All the, you, you're free of the burden of a lot of bullshit that some people carry around with them. Joe, and I was thinking about this on the way up is, um, a lot of a lot of those fighters, a lot of those champions, like after a while, you you they they feel this certain pressure yeah. to to be able to do this or that, mm -hmm. and 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 some of the examples that I gave is there's so much pressure on Anderson Silver. I almost felt like he couldn't wait to lose. Yeah, he was just like it's like a pressure the way you just want to put it down. You know, Matt, and you then, said that yeah, to me when BJ Penn beat him. Yeah, he you said just, it was just so just much pressure. Get out of it. Is that actually and I feel like relieved. It's, it was so much pressure. George St. Pierre ran away from the sport because yeah. of that pressure. Yeah, you know, some people. For me, I don't feel shit. <laughs> like <laughs> I was just, I was just thinking. I was like. <sighs> I don't care. Like, it, it, look at this fight now, the Covington fight. Right. Everyone's already bringing, making a big deal out of it. It's another fight for me. I don't even think of myself as, oh, you're the champion. I don't care. I just want to beat this guy up. 